Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today we're going to be doing a haul video from just accumulated stuff over the last probably month or more. It was kind of pitiful sourcing so we would only buy a few things on the weekend but now it's kind of accumulated on us so we're going to go ahead and um, do this video. The thing is is I'm not going to remember how much I paid unless there's a price on it but you guys know me I'm very very frugal so it wasn't a whole lot now I'm sure there are certain things that we will remember exactly what we paid for it and where we got it sure no idea why some things stick in our head like that but some do nope 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 all right I'll just show y'all I might do a video on the clothes that we picked up at our favorite little estate sale it was tons of high-end stuff high-end for us anyway high-end for us but i've never found a saint john's not saint john's bay but i found i think two or three pieces that were saint john's and another one that was saint john's couture i guess that's how you say the word coucher coucher <laughs> but it was some amazing stuff the first day we went um most of the clothes were $5, but some of the like vintage coats and stuff were more. Yesterday, we went back on Labor Day and everything was $2. So I grabbed some more stuff. I even found another St. John's yesterday for $2. So I may go ahead and do a video on You've that. You've never found it? I've never found St. John's. Well, I found St. John's. Bay. Bay all the time. <laughs> yeah. Every yard sale. Bay. But now, I might do a video on that. I found out yesterday. We have a large, I think it's like an me industrial mechanical company. They take care of mechanical things. <laughs> mechanical. I don't know. I don't know what all they take care of. But the guy owned that company. Oh. That's why they had nice stuff. Nice stuff. And there is so much stuff I think they said they're going to be spending a whole month um, bringing more stuff out and more stuff out and more stuff out. But hopefully there's more clothes, but I have a feeling, no, I think the rest of this stuff is going to be stuff that they put in a building and just, it's packed is what I was told. Tons of glassware. Tons of glass. Oh yeah, there was tons of glass. I did get Christmas too. So I might, I'm going to make that video. I'm going to make it and show you some of the stuff we picked up because a lot of it I've never I ha I was Google Googling and eBaying to figure out what I was looking at. But this did come from there, so I'll just go ahead and since it was on this pile. Robert grabbed this. It was two dollars, right? Two dollars. Everything was two dollars, but look, it is a silver colored anyway, belt buckle, but it's got a Morgan dollar on the inside. From eighteen eighty nine. Eighteen eighty nine. So I think the belt has issues. It's been personalized. I think we're just going to take the belt buckle off. And we're thinking about how much? I think he said 65. I think there was um, at least listed for 65. So, you know, this is so specific. There's probably really hard to get, you know, an exact comp on it. But I'm thinking, I'm hoping 50 to $60 for just the belt buckle. When I looked at it, I saw the, I think it's a Morgan silver dollar. Mm. And I figure that's probably worth twenty, thirty dollars. Just I mean, if just. we pry the silver dollar out and sell it, it's worth twenty or thirty dollars. Yep. yep. All right, and then, uh, like I said, I'm not quite sure where I got all these. I like to pick these up, especially when they're in their bags. These are from the Kellogg cereal. They were a premium out of the box. Um, I tend to try to put like all the Sesame Street together, all the Lion King together. I think there's some more series, but those are the two because that's what I'm holding. Um, and then I just, you know, make lots. I'm pretty sure I probably have both of these. Oh, Toy Story did it too. Um, so I'll just keep adding to the lots or start a lot of these. And then there was this. I tend to pick up most things that are sealed in their bags like this. Um, but advertising. So, of course, this is the Pillsbury Doughboy. I'm sure it's probably not worth a whole lot. I paid $4 for these shoes, but look how cool they are. They are Spring Step L'Artiste. Just look, haven't hardly even been walked on, probably only indoors. I want to say they were like 25 plus, but I'm not quite recollecting. 
Look at these. They've got, I paid $5 for them. Y'all know me in the flatware. They've got the pounded, what is it called? Hammered. Hammered, that's it. Hammered handles. I'm not seeing a brand right away, but I'm pretty sure I Google lens these. Um, to make sure it was worth it, but oh, these are heavy. I'll probably do small lots depending on if I can do like sets of three or four of each, like spoon, fork, whatever. Time to go pick up RJ. Well, in 20 minutes. In 20 minutes. All right. Still, this isn't recollecting where it was from. Um, I can't read this. Heartstone, I think. Yeah, Heartstone USA. Just a little bowl. What is it called? Stoneware, I think, is usually how they refer. It's heavy. No clue. I'm hoping at least 10 bucks for it. It's a set of three. So, three different colors. Not sure if I'll keep them all together. Probably, but it's going to make them really heavy. What is this? Oh, Democracy. I guess it's a faux. Paid $5, I'm guessing, for it. A faux fur jacket. Some kind of jungle print, animal print. I don't think I found that brand before. We used it to protect this. These are intriguing to me. I don't know, they, they look like recycled glass. They've just kind of got that odd texture to them. But it's these two bowls and then this. Just very intriguing. Robert grabbed this. It was 50 cents. A lot of times this might be like older type stuff and you know people are going to go to eBay to find replacements for something that they no longer can purchase. Not quite sure but I know you had checked comps on this. I want to say 15 to 20. Yep. And I grabbed this. They wanted either a dollar a piece or $15 for the whole box. But it's a whole bunch of these. Got a H. I'm thinking anchor hawking, but just a bunch of these type cups and then a whole pile of saucers. I figured for $15, I'll try to maybe match them up, either do a cup and a saucer or small lots of them. Definitely should be able to get my, my money back on that. Very good condition. You can tell they've not been run through the dishwasher and they've not been faded. When you find a lot of these types of items, they've, they've been damaged by dishwashers in the heat. Souvenir cups and whatnot. Mm hmm McDonald's. Hmm. This is, this has got me wondering because I listed a Ringo Russ Home Buddies plush yesterday. And now this one's much bigger. So now I'm going to have to go check and make sure that I had a smaller one. Didn't realize they came in two sizes. So, you know, maybe the comp that I have for the one I have listed was actually for a larger one. I do not know. But it was like $25. So now that's that's got me wondering. But definitely this is one of the terry cloth plushes that um, was featured in my video. This is the Russ hum Home Buddies. But always check any plush that you find that has terry cloth. Looks like a washcloth. All right, and then this. I grabbed it because I don't want the clothes on it. It is Garanimals. It is just one of the brands I love to pick up. It, there's like lambs and dogs and just a whole different variety of these. Some of them are worth a whole lot more than the others. I'm not quite sure on this one. And look, had to get it. It's applause. It looks like the little leaves have been faded. But I just, y'all, I got to save the older stuff. It is from 1987. Probably only paid 50 cents or a dollar for it. 
I'm hoping like 12 to 15 on it. Here is some shoes. Not sure who the brand is. Dereo. Oh, wait, here. Bear traps. But I just noticed sometimes that stuff doesn't come off easily. I'll try alcohol. I'll try, um, what's it called? Oh, and a magic eraser. I'm hoping that's not, it doesn't look like Sharpie. Sharpie is awful to get off. I'm wondering if that just meant that it was a size 10. That's the size, not the, we wouldn't not pay $10 price. for ne that. Yeah, never. A lot of these are still only going to be like $12, $15. 50 cents. It, this one is Hug Fun. There's a whole variety of these. They're prayer bears. I tend to get, you know, most usually bread and butter, maybe a little bit more on ones that are a little bit harder to find or a different color. Like, yeah, I see a lot of pink and blue. I don't see a whole lot of yellows. So I'm still hoping 10 to 15 for it. Oh, this must be a Robert Find. Ooh, Izod. Looks yeah, adult. Trying to see. Large. Hopefully. Just denim. Usually we pick up almost all denim jackets and denim bib overalls. Shorts or long. It is just one of the things you can do really well with. As long as the prices are reasonable. We yeah. talked at a yard sale recently and I saw that she still had it. We're still having it this past weekend even though we were there a month ago and she wanted $30 for her bibs and yeah. What were they, the brand? Pointer. Pointer. Pointer is a good brand, but yeah, no, we're not going to pay 30 We could probably get, if I remember right, 50 out of them. $20 would be a nice profit, but those things are a pain in the butt to take pictures of. So, no, not going to do that. Well, I don't remember buying these. I wonder if this was something you grabbed running around. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Blankets and beyond. Some of these I've done really well with, especially the ones that are, they don't have an animal and they have the circles and the satin edges. Those are big time, like $45, $50. But a lot of them are bread and butter. But it's very possible that I did that. It was a lovey for a quarter. Right. I'm just because of the outfit, I'm not quite sure why we have a quarter outfit. I've got to get to my doll. Oscar. Oscar something. Dinner Renta. <laughs> I doubt that for a doll, but just cute. My I've got to get to the doll stuff. Meyer Wiener? Stop. <laughs> no, Oscar Meyer Wiener. I'm just coming up with what could no. go with Oscar. No. Uh, you know what it sounded like you said? What? <laughs> advertising coffee mugs I bought a bunch this weekend when we were down in Cleveland with tea and pickers Tim and Jerry bought a bunch and they were all a quarter each well and this one was two right there quarter I pick all of them up a lot of them are going to be long tail a lot of them are going to be bread and butter but we have sold coffee mugs for almost two hundred dollars so it just really depends what is being advertised. Drugs will do really well. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Backpack, Eddie Bauer. I want to say this was like a quarter and I thought I'm just going to grab it. It's a good, nice backpack. If I can get these for like a dollar or two, I tend to pick a lot of them up. Most of them are bread and butter, maybe 15 to $20, but these are Hallmark Jingle Pals. This is the time of year to start really getting these listed. I have quite a few over there that um, are dirty. So that's the thing. Make sure they're clean when you pick them up. Um, but this is a more one of the more common ones. I want to say 15 to 20 for it. I probably paid, I want to say five or more dollars for this. But I went ahead and I wanted it for this. This is a vintage play school um, letter block lot from 1986, but she also had them like in this little wooden wagon, which I don't think is play school at all, but it was very cute. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead 
and put all of these together with the blocks. Look, there's a set, and then there's still some more down in this bag. I'm hoping maybe $20, $25 for it. I love play school, so anytime I find the vintage stuff, I'm probably going to pick it up. Just thought this was intriguing. It's dirty, um, but it's a vintage sewing box. Just full of all kinds of old thread on the bobbin. What are these called? The spools. Um, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. It was like $2. I'm going to clean it up. I'm probably going to leave it as is. And I'm hoping $25 plus for it. This went with the, those bowls. Yep, heart stone. So I have the bowl and I have a little salad plate to go to each one of them. Now I'm thinking I might split them up. I want to say I paid a couple of dollars. I was going to pick stuff out because there's some uh, like vintage. You can tell this is like mohair Christmas ornaments. Look how cute. Just a whole lot. Almost all of it was bears. And then there was a whole bunch of these. What are they? Omnibus. And of course there was Homco. I well, just you thought, get to buy Homco. Yes, I can. Not you. Look how cute some of these are. So I thought I would go ahead and just get them all, divvy them up pretty much, probably like if it's ceramic and it's glossy like this. But if it's matte, I'll make different lots of all of this stuff. Just look at this. I'm thinking this was hand hand painted. Kind of looks like a Care Bear wannabe. I just couldn't resist. So I grabbed it. Then I'm going to show you two flats, but I actually buy, bought five of them. But I grabbed this. It was $5. I just loved it. I want to say I saw something comparable maybe for like $20, $25. Grabbed this. It was $3, but it's little beads and it's coasters. I'm hoping 15 plus for it, but let me show you what I really loved. And I went back and got three more. These flats, they're all full of this chalkware or ceramic stuff. Like here's the fish. There's another fish and there's the bubbles. This is all new to me. So if I can find comps for you guys, I'll share them. But I'm hoping, let's say 25 plus for them. Look how cute these little mermaids all of this, she had a log cabin, and all of this was hanging on the walls throughout her cabin. She has these wall pockets. There's two of them. Now, they do have chips and stuff. It, this was $5 for this whole box. I've got little frogs with this. Those of you who know this stuff, let me know. I think I did really, really well. Love this. I'm assuming that the chips and the paint is not going to be a big issue. I love this. There's three of these little fish to go with this one. And there's a lot of fruit in this one. Not all of it has faces. I think this is the only one that has face. But there's bananas, strawberries, apples, grapes, a couple of little kittens. And then I'll show, show you guys the other three boxes. We ran out of space down here, so we had to take them to the, the other building to store temporarily till I had time to list them. But wasn't this just fun stuff? Loved it. Now I get to list it, which is the fun part. I like listing. I like processing. I like it all. I love eBay. <laughs> all right, you're out of time. The alarm right. went off 20 minutes ago to okay. go get RJ. Gotta Stifle. go. Gotta go. Ooh, that was not nice. Be nice. Y'all get him. Bye.